all right what's going on YouTube back again with another great video as usual and today ouch ouch and today we will be installing the um, Megan racing test pipes onto the 350z if you're new to the channel make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and also push notifications the bell is on the top right so you guys can see when I post next right now I have with me is PB blaster to get these bolts I've taken off the I haven't I took off one cat completely but I haven't completely taken off cats the other side of the cats before when I did the transmission job we changing out the clutch and yeah so we might need this might not and I'm about to go ahead and show you guys what tools you would need to take off your. Now, these are the tools that you'll be needing. I have one breaker bar that's right here. And I have three extensions so you can get into it from the hood of the car. And possibly we might be using that wrench. I'm waiting on Sergio to see if he can bring his O2 uh, sensor um, wrench to pull those guys off the cats and of course you're gonna need your your test pipes you might need some gaskets for the other side where the white pipe will rest on the test pipes jack stands and a jack and of course pb blaster if you have one of those demon bolts sitting on there so let's get enough of the talking i'll go ahead and actually i'll give you guys a cold start to hear what it sounds like the current exhaust that I have right now is a Tome with a Nismo white pipe and regular cats. So you guys are going to hear the before of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick rev and a nice little startup. I don't want to get it too hot because I have to work on it. So I'm just going to give you guys a nice little cold start. gonna go ahead and go ahead and start jacking up the car let me close my no i'm gonna leave it open i'm gonna go ahead and that oh also i might just use this impact gun just in case you guys have one this might actually help y'all a lot too but yeah so that's a complete list of stuff let's go ahead and get this started i don't want to kill the battery out too much i only have one technically for right now uh and Get these test bikes on. Maybe a little bit later we'll wash the car too because it's looking a little dirty. I can write my name on it. All right. Let's see what I can do with this bad boy here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start on this one side first and get the bolts off from the white pipe and then I'll go to the other side, do the same. Then I will lift both sides up, jack it up, which sounds like a long process, but in order to film this the best way as possible, I wanna get the most content right now. And that's how I just plan on doing it. it. Sounds stupid, it probably is stupid, but I feel comfortable with doing this right now because I'm just chilling. So let's go ahead and get started and get under this car. One bolt. All right, I got the first two bolts off the white pipe right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just raise the other side of the car as well. Make it easier for me to work on this junk. 
So I'll show you guys that once I um, raise it up. Them bad boys right here are off. First, you're gonna wanna take off this brace that's right here and there's two bolts holding it up. The rest of them connect to the cats, but since we won't be using this brace because they don't need it on the test pipes, we'll just take off these two bolts to remove them. And I'll just do that off camera because it's just pretty much just lefty loosey righty tighty. All right, next we gotta get off this one bolt on this side right here. And there's one on the opposite side right here. I believe it's just one on each. Let me see if you guys can see it right here. And then we have to get these off and put it back on to here. Let me put on the test pipes, but yeah. It's just one. Let me feel around. Yeah, yeah it's just one on both sides. And I will do that off camera because I don't have enough space to hold it, but I'll get to you guys when I get it. All right, both bolts are off of the cat now, including that side as well. Um, I forgot to mention to you guys, but if you guys are trying to get these bolts off, they are 14 millimeters. You're gonna need a longer socket to fit it to take them off, because when you get near the end tip right here, it will kind of no longer fit. I can't really show you. It will no longer fit with a short one, but. If you haven't taken them off, it might be some trouble. I've done this before, so it's pretty easy. Now the last ones are the last two on top. Then this gasket here, I mean not gasket, but um, this uh, O2 socket here. And then these should come right off. Slide right off, these bad boys. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the top of the car because we're gonna be doing that from the engine hood. I'm probably gonna throw the car back down on the ground. And then after we do that, uh, these should fly off minus these here and then I'll just unhook this for now I'll unhook these two and let these fall off and then when we get the socket whenever Sergio gets here we'll plug them back in now you can't see it from here but if you're doing this on your own car the trick is to get your elongated extensions and fit it through here and loosen those bolts at the top and put those bad boys on we'll take them bad boys off then put it back on and i'm gonna have to also do this off camera because i can't hold it and do it at the same time all right a couple of excruciating and painful rage moments later we got the cats off thanks to nick because I was not messing with it. I was going to throw everything away. And now we have Sergio putting on L2 sensors. Next, just put them on in reverse on how you took them off. Pretty much. You got to put on the gaskets that go on from the uh, header to the cats on here. They're metal. Then we'll get back under and we'll put them out. Put them you send these down? I need to sand them. It helps. No, I ain't going there. No, no. All right, finna get under the car. Put in the first one. Shit. Go on in with the second one. So here we go. Uh, really hard. Cool. One hand sliding in here. Uh, it's kind of difficult. I'm gonna lay this guy down. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see anything. And start adding things. Had to make a quick run to Lowe's because we're missing bolts because the test pipes require a different type of no. something. <laughs> nut. Of nut. So we're going to go ahead and go grab a couple of those nuts. All right, we're back. Went ahead and got the stuff. So now I'm about to go back under the car and repeat the process. And I guess show do, you guys bro? what we're doing. Well, I'll show you guys after. You see him take it off, so you should be able to put it back on. 
I just started. We just came to the store. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, passing the motor. All right, everything is pretty much good to go. The test pipes are in. I wanted to show you guys this right here. Um, these bolts. Um, pretty much when you get rid of the stock cats. Can you relax? Can you relax? After a place. <laughs> You're gonna have to replace um, these with an actual bolt and nut because they're no longer welded because you have this new, you know, thing going on over here. So I had to do that for all of them, including the other two that are on the top. So I had to go. That's why I made the quick lows, quick lows run. As you can see, everything is on. Probably gonna emit a check engine light. I'm gonna give you guys a nice little start of it. So can you stop? What? Anyways, let me get the one here first. So. Alright, everything's good to go. That's why so in. If you can stop playing with this transmission, I'm talking to me like, can you relax? I can't speak! But uh, I had to replace these uh, bolts right here that you see. Uh, it would just focus up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so these bolts here, they had to be replaced because on the stock. The stock ones, uh, the stock cats, I mean, they had studs that are already welded to the cat and you just bolt on. But these, since you no longer have that, you have to have the actual stud. And, you know, I had to go to Lowe's, go buy these. I think these are M10s. They're about like a dollar a piece, so I spent about eight bucks on new bolts. I had to do the same for the top up there. And then there's some on the other side, but I'm really under here in a tight spot, so I can't really show you. But they're finally in. And we are going to put this down and see what it starts up. Starts up like. We gotta make sure I tighten this bolt here. And yeah, now I'll get from under here. All right, so cars put back together again. We're about to do our first startup. I'm gonna leave the car. We're gonna keep the camera by where I kept it before, so you guys can hear the after. So, three, two, one. Pretty much done with today. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a sound, uh, sound clip to close. So, ooh, turn this off. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a sound clip to close. Uh, and I wanted to make a word. Don't be so uh, quick to anger. Uh, today was kind of rough, but doing things in anger kind of made things take a lot longer than they should have. So that is always a good word to keep. Ooh idling was kind of low but um yeah just wanted to let you guys know that and uh peace out and i'll see you guys later good
you don't understand Everything you have done Why is everything so wrong? This is a hobby I 